In this next short video I will introduce the principle of human capital production function. Let's analyze example company of 400 employees. This 400 is staff size at full time equivalent. So each employee is paid according to the theoretical working time, in this case 2000 hours per year. From this theoretical working time, the auxiliary working time takes roughly 15%. Auxiliary working time includes vacation, absence, maternity leave, work orientation, training, HR practices and HR development. When auxiliary working time is reduced, we get the time for work. During the time for work, the intangible human assets have to be considered. Quality of working life describes the utilizing degree of the immaterial human capital. If the quality of working life is at the level of 60%, the effective time share is 60% as well. Therefore, the calculated effective working time is 85% times 0.6. So, 51% from theoretical working time is calculated to be effective. Other working time can now be calculated and it is 34%. This other working time includes work planning, quality assurance, reporting, wasted working time and fuss due to poor motivation. With effective working time the company makes the revenue. There is firm specific coefficient which determines how much revenue the company can make with one effective working hour. This company makes 100 million dollars revenue. According to the annual profit and loss account, there are variable costs of 50 million dollars, which is 50% from the revenue. Variable costs are materials and purchase services which are needed in making the revenue. Staff costs are 25 million dollars, and other fixed costs like rents and licenses are 15 million dollars. Finally, when all costs are reduced, there will be operating profit, in this case 10 million dollars. Now, company wants to improve the human capital productivity and therefore invest some time to staff training and HR practices. For simplicity, let's assume that this training and HR practices time is already included at earlier year auxiliary working time. So the time for work remains the same. When training and HR practices are done properly, there will be positive effect at the quality of working life. In practice we have recorded that 5% improvement is possible and realistic. In this case it means that the quality of working life improves six, from 60% to 63%. Because quality of working life index determines the effective working time share, there will be equal 5% improvement at the effective working time. In growing business environment, the company can utilize the K factor in making more revenue. When revenue increases, the variable costs are increased as well. Therefore, $5 million more revenue means, in this case, 2.5 million dollars more variable costs. Because other costs are not increased, there will be 2.5 million dollars improvement at the operating profit. Improving intangible human assets, there will be more production capacity without fixed cost increase. As a conclusion, this company makes six thousand two hundred fifty dollars more profit for each employee. Human capital production function in mathematical form goes like this. Production volume is the revenue which is the function of key coefficient times human resource in full-time equivalent times theoretical yearly working time times one minus auxiliary working time. This is the same as the time for work.
And finally, all this has to be multiplied with the quality of working life index. The operating profit in financial term earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization is revenue reduced by all costs. The human resource business coefficient shortly the K factor can be calculated from earlier year realization. When numbers are inserted in the equation there will be coefficient of 315 $0.7 per hour. This means that one effective working hour produced $315.7 revenue. There is saying that management determines the profitability and leadership determines the productivity. At the human capital production function this means that management determines K factor and leadership determines the quality of working life.